What in the hell? Bosses are kind of hard to make. I've only done a few bosses before, but every single time it's been an absolute pain just coming up with the idea and then implementing it. That being said, they're also super great if you can actually do it right. So for my game Starground, I wanted to add one just to make the dungeons a little bit more fun. The thing that a lot of people don't realize is just exactly how much work it can actually take to make a whole boss. Not only is it hard to program in all the unique tacks and stuff, but you also have to come up with how they look. And depending on the style of that game, that can take a really, really long time. I mean, for something like Elden Ring, a massive, crazy boss like this, that's going to take forever to design. So yeah, making bosses kind of really sucks, but they also provide a lot of really great things. I think bosses are kind of just always a nice checkpoint in progression. Working through a dungeon, you get used to this groove of killing all these little tiny baby enemies. Um, and I think that's fine and all, but I think after a while that starts to get a little boring. I think when I have the most fun in dungeon crawlers, there's always a boss at the end. You know, this final like ultimate challenge that you have to overcome. And getting a powerful drop or reward from that is also just super nice too. It kind of makes it feel like all the time and effort that you spent actually going through this dungeon was uh, worth it and not just an absolute waste of time. In Starground, we have one dungeon right now and that's the moon dungeon. It has these robot guys that are the ancient automatons, um, and they're just sort of like a basic melee enemy. They walk up to you and hit you. And then we also have the moon shrooms, and these just kind of shoot out these little moon projectiles that you have to avoid. I think I've gone over these enemies in other devlogs, but yeah, just a little recap. I really want to add a boss to cap off this dungeon. But first, it's time for the big difficult part. <laughs> Coming up with ideas! This is already super hard for literally anything. <laughs> and now I have to do it for a super important part of the game, and the staple of an entire dungeon. But I do think the best way to go about this is just kind of starting with what makes the most sense. So in this dungeon, as previously mentioned, we had two enemies, which are the robots and the shrooms. So I kind of figured it'd make the most sense for the boss to fit within one of those categories. I do like the idea of the final boss kind of mimicking the enemies that are in the dungeon, kind of both in their visual style and their, their attacks. Some of the initial ideas I came up with were just kind of essentially a big automaton, just a big robot guy. Uh, a variant of that that's sort of like a flying drone version, and then also an idea for a spiky ball guy, but this was kind of just a thwomp, so I didn't really end up doing that one. And the Rat King! Show an epic image of the Rat King. But I'm actually going to use the Rat King for a different dungeon, I think, not this one. <laughs> and then the final idea that I ended up actually going with was this fun guy. <laughs> Whoa! So yeah, pretty much he's just a big angry mushroom. The whole thing with these mushrooms in the dungeons is that they have these little tiny crescent moon shapes on their cap. And so I kind of just kept that visual design for the boss also. So literally he's just a regular moon shroom, but you know, bigger. He's a big guy. Is this the best possible boss idea? Absolutely not. But sometimes in game dev, I think good is better than perfect because I'm not going to spend a million years trying to work on this boss design and never finish the game. So yeah, drawing this guy took forever um, because the sprite's just so massive compared to everything else in the game. He's 128 by 128, which is huge because in comparison, the player is only 16 by 16. And just to kind of get a grasp on that, the player has around 200 pixels. This guy is 16,000. So huge increase in just the amount of work that I have to do in actually creating this sprite. But I do think this increase in size is really just a good way to go about it. Otherwise, it's going to look weird and out of place because pixel sizes aren't the same. Go watch that other video I did. It's, <laughs> it's up there. The card where, uh, you know, annotation. Put an annotation in here, please. The annotation right here. I think in the future, I'm definitely going to be 3D modeling these and converting them into sprites and animations and just kind of clean them up after rendering because it's going to be a whole lot easier and the animations will look better and be smoother. So really, there's not any downside. I was just stupid and didn't do it this time. But we have a sprite. This is his animation. It's a little idle animation. Um, and yeah, he doesn't have an attack animation yet. I'll probably do that, but I'm kind of procrastinating because I hate working on big sprites like this. It's boring. <laughs> but it's time to actually add his attacks. His attacks still are a little bit of a work in progress. 
but there's two that are fully implemented that he has right now. So that's spawning all the other little tiny moon shrooms around the boss arena and his poison cloud attack. I figured this poison cloud was maybe like a bunch of spores that are toxic or something. I mean, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter how it works, but I think these two attacks are just fine. I really would love to add in one more, but I need to think about what that would be exactly. Let me know if you have ideas in the comments, but I think it'd be something only active during the second phase, maybe like in in an enraged attack where he's, he's angry, you know, something like that. And yeah, I added this little little tiny tick to the health bar to actually indicate first and second phase, but there's no distinction between the two right now because I haven't added the second phase attack, so yeah. It doesn't work until I really set it up. Yeah, killing this boss, you get some exclusive boss drops, um, which is the Shroom Axe, the Fungadol, <laughs> In the shrommel. Uh Literally, I was just me trying to squeeze the word mushroom or fungus into axe handle and pommel. So yeah, super uh, big round of applause for me making totally the best names ever. But hopefully in the future, I can actually give these weapon pieces kind of some kind of like extra ability or maybe like a poison status effect on enemies. I think it'd be interesting for boss drops like this to kind of go beyond just having more damage and speed or whatever, kind of make it actually unique. So I have to work on that at some point. Yeah, I'm also going to be creating a brand new dungeon pretty soon. I kind of have some rough ideas, but if you, any of you watching this have ideas for what a new dungeon could look like, please let me know in the comments because I will read every single one. But that's going to be it for this devlog. Be sure to wishlist the game on Steam right now if it's something that you're interested in playing. We've also got some fun things going on in the Discord. We have a project showcase video coming up on the channel pretty soon, and we're also going to be doing a Minecraft server. See this? This is a Minecraft block. I, I don't know why I'm showing you the, this is the Minecraft block. So yeah, join the Discord if you want to get involved in stuff like that. There's a lot of fun things that we're going to do over there. Um, check out the live streams here or on Twitch. Yeah. Big thanks to Ben Newman for being our Kofi supporter. I appreciate you. Everybody, a round of applause for Ben Newman. Bye-bye. <laughs>